Hi, I'm David from ArtJet. In the next few minutes, we'll set up ArtJet to add bot protection, rate limits, and web application firewall rules, and see them block real attacks. This is a developer-first approach to security. So just a few minutes here, and then you'll be back to building features. ArtJet works with all JavaScript frameworks. Forms are a common target for attacks. So in this video, I'll show you how to protect a form built using Next.js. There's a link to the code in the video description. ArtJet provides multiple features such as rate limiting and personal information detection, which you can use to create different security protections. In this example, we're going to use bot detection, rate limiting, and attack detection through the ArtJet Shield WAF. ArtJet's bot detection uses different signals like user agent and IP reputation to detect whether requests are coming from known bots. But not all bots are bad, so you can choose to allow Google search crawlers or other friendly bots. First, we need to sign up for a free ArtJet account from ArtJet.com. Once we're logged in, we can add the API key to our .env local file. I've already bootstrapped a simple Next.js app with a form using React hook form, which submits JSON to an API route. I've also configured Zod to do some basic client-side validation on a single email address field. Now we need to install the ArtJet Next package and create an instance of the ArtJet client. We recommend initializing the instance once and reusing it across your whole application to get the best performance. But in this case, I'm using the client in this single route. We first set the mode for the rule. This can be live or dry run. In dry run mode, no requests will actually be blocked. This is useful for testing new rules so you can log the result to see what would happen. We then configure which bots we want to allow. You can choose individual bots by name or list whole categories of bots. I'm specifying a search engine category which will allow crawlers from Google, Bing and others. I'm also including the preview category so those nice link previews show up properly in Slack, Discord, iMessage and so on. With our first rule configured, we now need to call ArtJet when the form is submitted. Inside our API handler, we can call protect, and ArtJet will analyze the request and check our real-time threat database. Next, you need to check the result, so you can decide how you want to handle the request. Here, we're going to check if the decision is denied, and then see what rule triggered the decision. Let's try it out in the browser. Submitting the form shows that everything looks good. If we then inspect the request and instead try to send it via curl in our terminal, ArtJet detects this as a disallowed bot and blocks the request. Going back to our rules, we can add curl into the list of allowed bots, retry the request and see that it's allowed. The request is also reported in your ArtJet dashboard analytics, but the request body never leaves your server. Now, humans will usually only submit a form a few times. Maybe they make an error and need to submit once or twice. So lots of submissions in a short period of time suggests an automated attack. Adding a rate limit is easy with ArtJet. We can quickly set up a sliding window rate limit, which is what we recommend for forms. ArtJet supports other rate limit algorithms like token bucket and fixed window. A sliding window rate limit provides smoother rate limiting over time and prevents the client from making a very large burst of requests in one go. Here we'll configure a new rule that sets a limit of two submissions within a five minute window. We can also add a new check to return a different error message when the rate limit is exceeded. Now if we submit the form a couple of times, we'll get blocked for five minutes. Note how I'm able to test this on my local computer without deploying. Finally, we'll add Shield WAF. This detects suspicious activity and will block common attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and vulnerability scanners. We can use a generic response handler to return a forbidden error message if the shield rule is triggered. Our form is now protected from bots, automated submissions, and general attacks. Our rules are configured in code, so you can easily document them with comments, track changes in source control, and even build more advanced rules by including dynamic variables. That's a topic for another video. So that's it, ArtJet in under 10 minutes. Head to the docs for more details. And if you have any questions, join us on Discord.